Saudi warplanes have targeted the town of Sagyan in Yemen's northern Sadar province. There were no immediate reports of casualties. Also on a Saturday, 11 civilians were killed in Maarib and Sadar provinces. The attacks continued despite UN calls for a ceasefire during the Muslim fasting month of Ramadan. The World Health Organization says that over 15 million Yemenis don't have access to basic health care as a result of the ongoing Saudi war. According to the WHO, 53 health facilities remain closed. Nearly a dozen healthcare workers have been killed or injured during the attacks. Israeli forces have killed a Palestinian teenager in Jerusalem al Quds. Israeli officials say that the 18-year-old was shot and wounded while stabbing a border officer in the neck. The young man later died of gunshot injuries. The Israeli officer is said to be in critical condition. Reports say the ISIL terrorists have abducted hundreds of children in the Iraqi city of Mosul. According to Kurdish media officials, the children have been taken to the ISIL bases in the east of the city. The ISIL is reportedly planning to use them as bombers and fighters. In Afghanistan government forces have recaptured the Yamgan district from Taliban militants in Badakhshan province. It follows three weeks of fierce clashes in the north. Afghan troops, however, have lost control of Chahar Dara district and Kunduz province. Witnesses say the militants attack security checkpoints before taking over government buildings. Al Shabaab terrorists set off a car bomb outside of a military intelligence base in the Somali capital Mogadishu. The group then broke inside the compound and engaged in a heavy exchange of gunfire with Somali forces. Authorities say the attack was successfully repelled and three militants were killed in the clashes. British campaigners demanded an immediate review into the royal family's finances. They're calling for cuts to Queen Elizabeth's multi-million pound income in line with the government's austerity measures. This comes after reports suggested that the Queen's finances will not face any cuts for at least another two years. And some 2,000 Taiwanese practitioners take part in a yoga-thon to mark International Day of Yoga in the capital Taipei. Similar events have also been held in different countries across the globe. The UN General Assembly declared June 21 as International Day of Yoga in December 2014.